Mm -hmm. Howdy folks, welcome to Coffee and Tools. What if I told you there's a tool company out there? They're in over 200 countries, they have good shipping policy, they have a good return policy, and they have great prices, and I've never heard of them, but we're gonna explore it. Yeah, you know, it's like, huh. hang in, I'm gonna show you some stuff, I'm gonna show you some samples, and also we're gonna do a review on one of the tools they sell. Cool, <laughs> let's do this, yeah. Yeah, you heard all that right. And this company's been around for more than 10 years in the tool business, but they have over 40 warehouses which run from the US, Canada, UK, and all over Europe. And they have good policies, such as a 30-day money-back return policy for things if something doesn't work out. But they also have uh, the delivery averages between two to six days from their warehouses. So that's not bad, you know. And also they have well over 10 million happy fans that have purchased from the uh, company. And to top it off, the, their, their shipping will always be within 24 hours. So that's, that's a good thing. But who is this outfit? Well, Vivor. Vivor has been around for a while. And they're not just an internet company. They have warehouses. They are brick and mortar as well. And they ship. And their brand names are on their tools, like their drills and things. So I want to show you something. This is what caught me. And I'll just give you for that an example. And I'm going to show you the Harbor Freight lathe, the 7x10. The lathe sells at Harbor Freight for, yeah, that price. Or you can look at Vivor and believe it or not, you're going to find what? That looks like the same lathe, the 7x10, but look at the price difference, you know. That was what started me looking at these people and saying, you know, this is an interesting company. Besides, a few viewers have mentioned the company and purchasing from them. I also took a look at some of that product, and so we'll take a quick look at the miter uh, saw for the saw, table saw there. And again, it was like, you know, that's a good price for that, and it's a nice looking uh, miter for a table saw. I love using that. I have one here and it is it is every bit awesome. In fact, I like it so much I'm not gonna I don't think I'm gonna bother building a cross cut system because the miter seems to do a great job and I'm really happy with it. So anyway, what happened? This happened. We went ahead and we brought something in small, inexpensive, but I want to take a good look at the features and also take a look at the price. Price was very good. It's Actually, I think it's the lowest price of, of any of them I've seen on the market. So I said, oh, that's, that gets my attention because when it comes to shopping for tools, uh, sometimes I can be uh, really price conscious. We have to be in this day and age. So let's take a look at the pocket hole joint kit from Vivor. Yeah, it's, it's here, you know. Yeah, well, I get this open. Uh, you also, if you notice that lathe, that was seven by twelve. That's actually a bigger lathe, and look at the great price on it. I tell you the truth, I'd rather have that one <clears throat> than the Harbor Freight one I've got in here right now. Anyway, wow. First thing you could probably notice, this is really basic packaging. Came in a basic, you know, the brown box, basically, you know, packed here in foam. So you're not paying you know, wasting money, paying for fancy packaging, fancy box, pretty pictures and all that. Wow, ah, good stuff. Now this one's a little different, again, but it's quite usable. It's pretty much, you know, sort of falls in line with the uh, pocket joint kits. We even have a little vacuum attachment for back here if we want to, uh, you know, suck up some of the uh, mess that we're gonna make when we drill wood out. And it comes with a nice pa uh, pack of screws it also has one other thing in this kit that uh, I kind of looked at and was like, you know what, that's not a bad little item, is this. These are little filler plugs. So after you do a pocket hole joint, you can, depending on the color you need, you can cap these in and it'll hide the screws. So that's that's kind of an interesting effect. Now, well, this, I think that was, yep, I think we emptied it. Good, that was it. Now, this one here only has, of course, the two holes. Which, if you're doing pocket hole joints, generally I use one hole for a center, or sometimes I might use uh, two holes for two pocket joints screws, but generally I've never really used the three that's in the kit that I have here on hand. It has the usual nice, wow, that's a nice function. It has a huge piece of rubber here that'll grab that wood so it'll keep it locked while you're drilling out your pockets. Now, there's a couple of things about this. This is 
you know, a basic kit, but at the same time, it gives you everything that you need to do a pocket hole with. Also has the big heavy, uh, yeah, you've got the, let's see, we get this open here. And we've got the big heavy drill bit. Yep. Look at that. Great big long. I really like these. This is generally what I use all the time if I'm doing pocket hole joints is to use the great big long number two Phillips. And again, notice that was a number two Phillips. So yeah, they're using uh, a Phillips head screw with the uh, flat washer kind of built into the head of the screw. A little different again than, you know, some of the other pocket hole joint kits that we've looked at. And of course you get the beautiful drill bit with the all set and uh, let's see the lock ring. So that's gonna limit, you know, how deep you're gonna be drilling. Now, there is a couple of things here that uh, we have to do, which is to, I guess we've got a lock here. Yeah, to unlock this so that we can slide this up and down to, depending on how thick the wood is that we're gonna be drilling. So it's a very basic kit, but sometimes when you buy this stuff, you know, that's all you want. You don't want a kit that, that has a lot of different features of things you're never gonna use. So I really don't have any problem with this one. Plus they have, this is all metal construction, which is really good. And they've got four holes already preset here that are countersunk. So you can, you know, mount this to a bench somewhere and you can just have it on display whenever you need it. You can run over and do a pocket hole kit, you know, a top pocket hole joint kit with it. But the price, is I think when I last checked it was around $59 and I was like you know that's the best price on a pocket hole kit I have seen anywhere and it's a basic kit but that's you know sometimes that's what you want to pay for is just something basic that'll do the job I don't need all the fancy you know trimmings and stuff and this is and of course I've got to mention this Vivor will be on your tools when you get them from Vivor it will say Vivor on them because you know, they are proud of their name and they put it on their drills, their impact guns, a lot of their, all their tooling that's going to come in is going to have that brand name on it. So this is not, you know, somebody else's uh, website selling something. This is a company that supplies restaurants, automotive tools, professional levels of restaurant and automotive stuff, all do it yourself or stuff. They carry a lot of different things. Also gardening and agricultural items and they've got, you know, pages of stuff in there. So as you can see, I've started setting things up a little bit. There's a scale on both sides of this slide right here. And there's a, you know, a half inch to say one inch scale on this side. There's also a metric scale on the other side. Again, this is US, so metric's not gonna do anything for us. But I've set it at three quarters of an inch. The problem is uh, three quarters of an inch wood around here these days doesn't measure three quarters of an inch. So I'm gonna show you a little secret of how I do my pocket joints. As soon as I find a piece of wood here, I'm not going to bother putting this on because I don't really need. I'm not. I don't plan on really getting into it more than just looking at the tool and how basic it is. But at the same time, uh, I put the lock ring up here on the uh, drill bit, and I slip the drill bit through on this pocket hole and like this, and just let it sit right there. This should not, of course, ever contact the metal. So that's kind of like a first indicator of you know where this ring needs to be at the top whenever you do a pocket hole. Now the next thing you want to do is. In this case, it's three quarters of an inch, or, well, the board actually doesn't even measure three quarter. Let's check it. So here's a, here's a nice nasty piece, and like I said, I'll show you the secret here that I, that this is what I do with all my jigs anyways, is a lot of times I'll put the board up in, in here like this, and look at that drill bit, and you see right where the bottom is. When I say the bottom, let me, let me show you that to you. Yeah. What I'm looking at is this flat spot, right, this ridge right here. And what I want that to do is land about in the middle of my three quarter inch board. Yeah, about the center. Don't worry about this piece here as long as it doesn't hit the uh, <coughs> metal. But that's where I want it, is right there. So when I set it up, I'll check the setup by just sliding the drill through, put the board up against it like this, and take a quick look. And then we can look through from this angle, from this side, you can see, and I'll see if I can get that up, hold all that up into the camera for you. You can see the bottom part of the drill bit is now roughly finishing out around right the center of the wood. That gives you maximum contact and strength for a pocket hole. So yeah, you heard it from me. <laughs> but that's how I set that up. And I'll adjust this ring at the top. This is the stop ring, of course, right here. For where you want to be and also use their scale of course for the angle and you know for the height here but that's how i do mine other people might have some other 
fancy way, but that's that's how I do mine. Now the other thing, of course, is to set the stop. This this piece here, you want to set that up so once you're going to do your pocket hole, you're going to want this to grab the board. This is just a dirty old board out of my uh, pile of scrap. <laughs> And again, that's a little too tight, so we'll just back it off a little bit until we get there. That's okay, just a little bit, uh, want a little more. There's a nice grip on this uh, rubber, by the way, too. Anyway, there you go. And she's nicely locked in, all squared up, and now she's ready. We can just go ahead and just drill that out, and uh, we'll have a nice pocket hole in this piece of lumber to attach to another board. Before I forget, I will provide a link in the description below where you can find this product and more. Oh yes, at Vivor, yes. Yeah, so boom, there it is. The basic, a nice basic pocket hole jig kit without a lot of money tied up in it. And that's really what it's, this is about and, and who it's for because a uh, Christmas gift for say the woodworker that doesn't have a lot of stuff just yet or he's starting to gather stuff up or maybe a birthday's coming up, something like that or for you and me, for ourselves, because we want a pocket hole joint kit like this, but we don't want a lot of money tied up in it. Well, Beaver has what you need, good quality at a low price. And I really like what I'm seeing over there. I wanna thank Beaver for sending this over to us. Uh, they actually came in, I guess it was last week, and it got here within a couple of days of the order. So again, you know, fast shipping, really speedy. They got it over here, like I think it was two days this thing showed up, and I was like, whoa, that's fast, okay, good. The warehouse was right here in the U.S. Uh, where it came out of, so again, you know, fabulous. Great, interesting tool company, and I want to see a lot more stuff from them. We'll probably have something else looking oh, into next week and the weeks after, I believe. But in the meantime, uh, got to thank the gang over there for sending this. This is a neat item. I got to get out of here. Hey, thanks for watching Coffee Tools. Please like, share, subscribe, and ring the notice bell. And I guess I'm out of here. <laughs> over and out.